Uh, thank you and welcome. Again, sorry for us running a little bit late. I'm uh, State Representative Tony McCombie, uh, the, the new House Minority Leader. I represent the 89th District, which is in Northwest Illinois. The budget is the, the most important single piece of legislation we do each year. It outlines our shared priorities and is a statement of our values. We are here to ask that our priority as a state be one of bipartisan effort, transparency, mutual respect, and fiscal responsibility. Today I'm announcing my budget team for the 103rd General Assembly and to discuss the budget making reforms the House Republican Caucus will be proposing. I am pleased that Deputy Leader Noreen Hammond has accepted my appointment as Chief Budgeteer. Her in-depth experience in appropriation and policy makes her the best person for this important role. I have no doubt her understanding of the processes of state government will ensure that the budget benefits all Illinoisans. She will work diligently and with the dedication required to ensure the needs and concerns of so many that will be considered during this budget process. Deputy Leader Hammond knows better than anyone that throwing more money into the state coffers does not curb spending or make structural reforms. Representative Amy Ellick will be elevated as Deputy Budgeteer. She has spent the past 28 years, being only 30, that's something, <laughs> 28 years working as a certified public accountant and auditor for businesses and governmental bodies. She is a valuable voice for sensible fiscal management and good government budgeting practices within our caucus. I've also named Representative Ellick to replace me to serve on the Audit Commission. Representative Ellick will provide critical support to the oversight of our agencies, the budget process, and to Deputy Leader Hammond in improving the most important piece of legislation to come before us in the State House. Illinois cannot afford any more broken promises. By nearly every measure, we have the highest taxes in the Midwest and some of the highest taxes in the country. Time and time again, Illinois Democrats have committed to crafting meaningful reforms only to mislead small business owners and taxpayers. Many people say Republicans want to vote no. We stand before you to tell you that preconceived notion is false. Illinois House Republicans are here to govern. We are here to give solutions. We want to help and are willing to share our ideas that address the budget shortcomings and provide tax reform policies that Illinois taxpayers and job creators need to stay in Illinois and need to grow in Illinois. Republicans represent parts of all 102 counties. The budget process should not be so difficult and it should be bipartisan. The budget bills do not need to come forward in the final hours of the session with little or no Republican input and certainly the budget should not be used as a political football year after year. As each General Assembly kicks off, you hear a call for bipartisan agreement. During our inauguration speeches, the speaker and I made many statements. Might I suggest this year, we back his words of yes we can, and with my words, yes we will. These proposals present a real, common sense approach to responsible budgeting for the state of Illinois. I call on Governor J.B. Pritzker and the Illinois House Democrats to adopt these reforms and join us in forging a new path forward for the Illinois House of Representatives.